Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're planning and prepping for 2023. It's crazy that it's already the new year, but this year also did feel kind of long in a way. I'm super excited for a fresh start in a new year. And we just moved, for those of you that are new, on November 1st down to Florida from Massachusetts. So I guess I've already kind of had a fresh start just in general, just a random fresh start in the middle of the year because I do feel very fresh and new just after our move and everything. But you don't need the new year to have a fresh start i just think it's a good opportunity to kind of survey like what you've been doing what you've been liking that you've been doing what you don't like and just like changes that you want to make in your life i just feel like the new year is the perfect time to do that don't put so much pressure on the new year and setting goals and sticking to them and resolutions i don't really set like resolutions i guess i'm more so set an overview of goals for the year and then they're just like kind of things to work towards and intentions to work towards throughout the year they usually have like one or two huge goals depending on how big the goals are like last year my main goal was to move out which we finally did that's been like my main goal for the past few years actually it's all about setting your intentions and goals and kind of knowing what you're working towards in the new year. The other thing I heard another influencer talking about, she was saying that her year in 2022, she was realizing everyone was talking about all these huge changes and how their life looks like completely different at the end of the year than it did at the beginning of the year. And hers, she was saying she had the best year, but she really didn't make any major changes. And I really wanted to touch on that because I feel like that is something that's so overlooked when we're talking about New Year's and when we're talking about going into a new new full year i feel like everyone feels like they have to make all of these huge changes like moving or <laughs> career change or something like that but if you're already happy with where you're at you don't necessarily have to set goals that will drastically change anything that's like one thing that's changed with my mindset going into 2023 is i really don't have any goals about drastically changing much now that we've moved I just want to enjoy our life here and of course I have a lot of career goals and you know fitness goals and things like that but nothing super like crazy and drastic or anything like that and it's okay for you to want your life to just kind of continue on and stay how it is I think there's so much beauty in that and I feel like sometimes with New Year's we do feel the pressure to make huge huge changes in our lives and that's not always something that you might want to do but you might feel pressure to because of the new year so just don't feel pressure to completely change your life you really don't have to make all these huge huge changes to be successful so even if you set small goals or a bucket list for the year of things that you want to do i think that can be just as effective and a fun way to still participate but maybe you just don't have as many huge huge goals for the year i also saw on tiktok this one girl she sets themes for each month of the year something she's gonna focus on so maybe january would be like fitness and then february might be career she set them beforehand for the whole year but you could even set them at the beginning of each month you could kind of set your focus to be one of your categories um in kind of the dimensions of wellness or just different areas of your life but like i said goal setting looks different for everybody so you don't have to do it any certain way i'm just sharing this to share some inspiration because I have taken some inspiration from other people's videos of how to set goals. Now I just wanted to go through some of the ways that I am planning for the new year and just give you some ideas but also bring you through some of my notion and show you how I planned everything out. The first thing that I do to plan for the new year which I have not completely like finished yet and I haven't worked fully on is a vision board. I normally do mine on Pinterest which you can kind of see it right here. I like to do a vision board 
while I plan because I like to set it as my phone background and as my computer background. And now that the phones have that like changing background situation, you could even do like one picture per like slide and then like your phone would change the background every time you open it. Or you can even do like a bunch of different themed vision boards. So you could do like a health and fitness one and then like a lifestyle one and then a career one or something. You can do this stuff in any order. I actually haven't made my vision board yet. I just have been like collecting images as I kind of see them on Pinterest. Just go onto Pinterest. I go on Canva and then I create like a slide of it and then I kind of like piece it all together and make it my phone background. But I think that's such a great way to plan for the new year and I I just think it really makes a big difference having a visual thing to look at. I'm a very visual person. I love looking at something visually and seeing my vision come to life, but I just think definitely pick images that you resonate with and pick images that you can see yourself in. Sometimes I even put a picture of me on the vision board. For example, this year I want to do a lot of adventuring and exploring and like tropical places go on vacations and things like that so one of the things i'm putting on my vision board is this picture of me and my boyfriend justin in a like spring that we went to in florida but it's just the picture so tropical and pretty and but the picture is just very much the vibe that i'm going for for the new year so i'm going to include that in my vision board now getting into my goal setting for the new year i do all of my planning and goal setting on notion and i'm not going to show you like the actual thing just because some of my goals are more personal and i do want to keep some of them more private but i wanted to share with you the sections i came up with and kind of how i'm laying out my notion for the new year the first thing you should do before putting this all into notion is brainstorm goals that you want to hit and just maybe like write them down on a piece of paper so there's less pressure on them i feel like sometimes when i officially type it out into my notion i'm like oh my gosh like is that the actual goal I want to set? I just want to make sure I'm setting goals that I really actually want to work towards. So I would suggest like just jotting things down with no pressure first and just brainstorming goals that you want to achieve for the new year. Also, know your why behind why you're picking that goal. I think sometimes we can set just like empty goals, but it's like, why do you want to achieve that? And how will it improve your life? And then you can kind of piggyback off of that to find other goals that might also lead you to kind of where you actually want to be in life instead of just setting random goals just to set them. Okay, so now looking into my notion, I will link the template that I am using down below it's from Jules Acree and I very much changed it to match my own needs so mine is basically completely different than hers but hers is the base that I started with and I do use her monthly goal setting planner and that's what I made this on the sections that I did for my goal setting this year I ended up sectioning off into a lot of different sections which I'll go through with you guys and that is very much inspired by Tess Barclay who I will also link down below she just made a video on her new year planning and I took a lot of inspiration from her sections because I really did like the way that she did it so I will also link her down below so in the template that I have from Jules Acree she has you set a word of the year and I didn't set a word of the year well I kind of did I just kind of changed it to be my vibe but you can do it however you want to do it so my vibe for 2023 I put to be healthy and carefree and carefree as in like not anxious and like worrying and just kind of letting myself live in the moment and enjoy my life you know enjoy the adventures and everything that I'll be going on in 2023 and travels and different things I feel like in 2022 I was very stressed and very anxious and definitely not carefree and then healthy obviously like healthy for all my friends and family but also meaning like healthy for me and healthy in terms of like health and fitness and self-care it just covers so many different things so that's my vibe for 2023 let me know what your 2023 vibe is down below if you set a word or kind of just a feeling or intention for the year let me know what yours is so then i have my section here is 
my big goals for 2023. These are the ones I'm probably not going to share as much until later on down the line this year, but I set a couple bigger goals for the year. Nothing too big like I was talking about earlier in the video. I really just want to go on adventures and up my content creation and grow on all of my platforms and stuff like that this year. Nothing super like major for goals. I just don't. So then next underneath that, I set my 2023 manifestations, but I essentially they are my just my 2023 goals, but just broken down into personal and business goals. These I'll share a few of just to give you some inspiration because I love hearing other people's goals. Some of my business goals are numbers related with my platforms just growing on YouTube and growing on Instagram, TikTok, all of that stuff. I also did set like some money goals in relation to my business but my personal goals one of them that I set was to get to a point where I feel like I am just like the fittest and healthiest that I've ever been. I really want to get into a great place with health and fitness and be going to the gym and just feel super good and fit and healthy. I would love to go on a trip to somewhere tropical. I put Hawaii because that's been a dream of mine for a while so we'll see. We are going on quite a few trips in 2023 but I would love to go somewhere tropical like the Florida Keys because that's pretty close to us now or even the Bahamas or something fun like that like something with me and Justin that is tropical. I also really want to increase the amount of like plant-based meals in my diet. I want to just pack everything full of veggies and fruit and just like plants and eat more naturally and just feel good about what I'm eating. And then I would love to try to read six books this year. I love sitting by the pool that we have at our apartment complex. So I really want to get a Kindle and start reading books by the pool. I just think that that would be really great. So I think six books is pretty reasonable. My next section that I added was random goals, like random little goals that are just things you want to try in the new year, but maybe not necessarily like a huge, huge goal. So I only have a few there now, but I'm definitely going to keep adding to it. Right now I have on there to try reformer Pilates because I think that I would love that. Like I just always look at people doing reformer Pilates and I'm like, oh, that looks like I would love it. And that it would just feel so good on your muscles and that it would just be a great workout. So I really want to try that. And then I also put on there to try surfing because I feel like I have been setting the goal to go surfing for so long and I have not done it. I am going to set the goal this year. Here, we'll see if I do it. The next few sections I also kind of stole from Tess. She did a whole side about content creation and social media and I really liked that because if you're a content creator then it helps to have like a separate strategy goals section. So what I did was who am I on social media and what kind of content do I want to make? Tess also did this and I really liked it. So I just kind of wrote down what I want to be sharing on my platform and just kind of what I want to talk about. I really want to continue just sharing my lifestyle, kind of just like my work as a content creator, wellness inspiration, and then just like beach life in general. It would just be fun to share more about Florida and like beach life and all of that sort of stuff. And then this is where it gets very fun. This is my content strategy breakdown for the new year. I'm not going to go into the whole thing, but I do want to highlight some of them for each platform and talk to you guys about some of the new strategies for the new year because I do feel like content creation and a lot of the platforms are kind of shifting. Just a disclaimer, content creation and you know, YouTube and creating on any platform is not all about strategy but i think that having a strategy is good and having kind of like a focus and a schedule and everything so take this with a grain of salt but i do want to share it because i think a lot of you guys are content creators as well so youtube i have a couple different things but one of them that i've been seeing a lot of people talk about is rather than sticking to a posting schedule just posting videos when they're ready and posting really good quality videos instead of trying to rush them out 
out on a certain timeline and a certain schedule that is one thing i think i'm gonna start doing like within the coming weeks honestly it's kind of scary for me because i do like having my schedule and i kind of enjoy having set days to post but i also do get very stressed out at certain points when i don't have a video and i feel like i have to rush a video out and edit it the same day to get it up when i also feel like a lot of the youtubers that i follow honestly all of them i have no idea what their posting schedule is so i don't know if they're a day late on it or anything like i don't know anyone's posting schedule so i kind of think that that's just something that was made originally to feed the algorithm of youtube but it's not something that really does much i think that posting quality videos is much more important than sticking to a schedule so i'm going to try to do this i do want to still aim for two videos a week like normal but i think it might just be different days and it might just be when i have them ready and some weeks maybe i'll have like three videos and some weeks maybe they'll only be one but i think i'd rather post high quality content that i'm confident in and just post whenever instead of just posting like to get a video out the other thing i'm really going to be utilizing in the new year is youtube shorts i've already talked about this a bit but youtube shorts is kind of popping off and i'm really enjoying posting them so those are definitely something that i'm going to be doing as well in the new year i definitely want to shift my focus from instagram to tiktok because i think that instagram there isn't much opportunity for actual growth whereas there is with tiktok I think that Instagram is more so like people coming from other platforms instead of growing on Instagram. So Instagram, I'm going to definitely focus a lot on reels and maybe not as much on posts and photos. I think that they're important, but I think I might just post photos when I have them available. And I also really want to get on Instagram stories more and just share more of my day because I really love watching people's Instagram stories. And I do feel like that's where I find the most connection to content creators is on their stories. And then TikTok is going to turn turn into kind of my main secondary platform instead of Instagram. And the main things for that are I do want to like obviously talk about the same things I'm talking about on here. And I want to also start doing more vlogs on there of like narrating them or just chatting or doing like what I do on here and just kind of sitting down. Just posting more chatting videos in general. I feel like longer content on there has been doing really, really well for people. And it is also just fun to create. And it's also similar to this, what I like about YouTube and what I like about this platform. So I think I'll enjoy doing that as like when I don't have a full day of content for a video, just vlogging on there instead. I feel like it'll pair well with YouTube content. And then posting that stuff to shorts is also going to be a big thing. That is kind of like my content strategies for the new year, just kind of touching on some of the stuff that I'm going to incorporate. So that is kind of my whole plan and my goal setting for 2023. I am super, super excited for the new year. I kind of just want to bring in those just like happy carefree healthy vibes and go on a lot of little trips and go on a lot of beach days and create fun content i just want to have fun with next year and really just enjoy what i'm doing i hope that you all enjoyed this video i hope that this inspired you for some of your goals for next year and how you're gonna plan like i said i'll link the template and i'll link tess's video down below because i got a lot of this stuff and some of these templates and ideas from her and jules i hope that you all enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this one and i'll see you all in my next video